Today, I wanna make a dark chocolate malted crepe cake that is all around just a hot mess, but doesn't require an oven and is my jam. I just tooted when I said that. <laughs> First step in this amazing malted fudge crepe cake recipe is crushing some balls. All right, so I have got a shit ton of malt balls here. I separated some uh, just off to the side because I want to keep a few whole. Now these ones are going to go in a nice clean towel. I'm going to wrap them up like a little baby. Uh, alternatives to a towel? I don't have any. Uh, find yourself a clean tea towel or off. Get yourself a rolling pin. And start crushing. And just like, yeah, like a little like that. And then just like, ooh, ooh, you like that? <laughs> I can't. It's too much for me. I can only go so far with innuendos before I feel very uncomfortable, so that's enough for me. I'm just gonna keep crushing. All right, cool. Step number uno is done. I'm just gonna get these back in the bowl. Now, I already did this last night. I made some crepe batter. The thing about crepe batter is it's really gotta kinda sit and set up overnight or for a couple hours, but it's best overnight. So I've already gone ahead and done that. Really easy to put together. All right, so I just need to get the saran wrap off of here. I'm gonna give it a bit of a stir. So I've got a great nonstick frying pan here with my burner underneath. I'm just gonna brush it with a little bit of melted butter. And each time we make a crepe, we want to brush it with a little bit of butter. Don't want any sticking. It also adds some pretty good flavor. So then I'm going to pour in a little touch. The first one, warning, is always messed up. Always. Doesn't matter what you do, doesn't matter how good you are at this, it's always just a bit of a joke. So you want to swirl it around, and what I have found to be the easiest thing is that you want to swirl all the way to the edges of the pan. If you try and restrict it from being at the edges, you'll end up with little legs, I call them, where you get kind of drips that haven't fully filled up. Cool, so we're going to let this cook. I want it so that the edges are rising slightly. Then when I flip it over, I want to make sure it's just brown slightly. We're going to let it cook for about 30 seconds to a minute on the other side, and then I'm going to make the rest of the crepes here. We are in the final stages. I have everything set up now to make my malted fudge. This recipe is really exciting. Also, can we just talk about how I can't stop eating the malt balls? Sorry. This is very important as well. I'm multitasking. Okay, I've got a saucepan with some water in it. Uh, I'm gonna create a double boiler. So I've got my two cups of chopped up dark chocolate. I'm gonna place that over top. We're gonna melt it nice and slowly with Half a can of sweetened condensed milk. Pour that in. And I'm just gonna give that a stir, let it melt entirely. Then to that, I have got some of this malt drink mixture. Um, brands would be like Ovaltine or Milo. So we're putting some of that in. And just to thin it out a little bit, I'm going in with a touch of milk. And stir that. Let's get it nice and smooth. Beautiful, okay, so our Fudge is done, our crepes are done, Maltesers are crushed. Let me just double check for safety, make sure nothing weird has happened. They're fine, but it's a good thing I did that. Okay, let's build. So we go with a layer of crepe. Come here, little baby. Put it on, put it on whatever um, tray that you eventually want to serve it on because this is going to get a little bit messy. We're going to put a little bit of our hot fudge, just smooth that out, and then a little dusting of some Maltesers. And I'm gonna repeat that process 10 more times. I'm gonna decorate the top with a little bit of shaved chocolate and some whipped cream and some of those full Maltesers and then I'm gonna dive in. It was gonna be a hot mess. I told you, but I am all about this. Give me this mess any day. No regrets, hashtag. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I hope you get a chance to make it, and I will see you next time.